Hi, this is David from the Wallowman Guitar Artistry. Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of part of my job, which is not only teaching lessons on YouTube. Part of my job is also to record guitars for artists or bands who need electric guitars. So if you need something like that, don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to list your project and, and help you as best as you can. No project is too small. But today is one of those days where I have to finish one of those jobs. And this job is for a buddy of mine, Ralph. I worked with uh, Ralph and his band Time Horizon a few years back on their, I think it was their, their first album. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ralph, but I loved working on that. And today uh, there's a new song that I'm uh, working on. So I thought I'd just take you kind of behind the scenes and, and show you. So I, I started working on this yesterday. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to backtrack a little bit and, and show you what it looks like. All those green tracks here are my rhythm guitars. The red is a solo, a lead thing, and the blue guitars are, the blue tracks are uh, overdubs. So typically when I approach a song, I approach it kind of like a painter would, where I have a canvas and I just have to add a little bit of paint here and there to hopefully create something more coherent. And that approach is something that I've always liked to do in music, just painting little parts here and there and eventually it becomes fuller, colorful, like you can see here. Let me show you what I got first. So I'm going to mute everything except for the tracks that I received, which are these four different tracks. One of these tracks is a click. The next track that I got is a version of the, it's a demo as of now. So everything is going to be re-recorded. It's kind of backwards. Typically you would start with the drums and the bass, but right now it's a demo and I'm painting over it. And I think Ralph might use those tracks to track the, the final drum. So I, I needed to make sure that I stuck with the click. The other stuff, the other parts that I have, such as this one is the, the song without any uh, guitars in there. A lot of synth, and there's some, some drums. It's not super synced, it's, it's just a rough demo. Sometimes the bass doesn't really fit, so I made sure to, to stick to the click, which is what you're hearing there. I kind of use this as a harmonic reference. And then I have another track with uh, some vocals, some rough guitars in there too. Again, it's just a demo, right? And uh, I have another track here that is uh, with, mm, with guitars, no vocals. So I have kind of different versions of the backing track that I can, that I can use. Um, and what, what I would do is I started by replacing the guitars. So that's where all these, uh, these tracks here that I'm highlighting come in. The green stuff, that's the rhythm. So we're going to listen to that and um, we'll finish this together. So I'm going to I'm going to use the the thing with no guitars here. I doubled those guitars, so there's a right and a left. That part I actually used this key soul. Um, I love the pickups in this this guitar. So, anyways, we have some rhythm stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna enable the vocals. At this point in the project, and this is where um, you come in, we're gonna finish this together. We need to just kind of like go over some some leads. So if I highlight everything, this is where I'm at. You can kind of see where I started painting stuff. Um, and I'm, I, I got to this section right here. I was just finishing recording this. And there's not much going on here. It's kind of a build up. So we're gonna record a solo over this. It, it, it comes in right after this part. Okay, right there. This little guitar thing. 
fake guitar for now, fake acoustic, maybe it'll stay like that. And then a double bat. It's a big build up. It lasts this whole section. So the idea that, I, that I'm having uh, to, to add to this for a solo is to go really counterintuitive, do something very, very different here. So this is what I, what I have in mind. The, the tempo is pretty, you know, it's, it's pretty rhythm, rhythmic, right? Rhythm section. Well, I'm not gonna do that on my lead. I'm gonna do something really, really different. And maybe Ralph can do some mixing things where it's kind of far and then it builds up. I don't know, we'll see. The only thing I'm gonna do is uh, match my tempo. So I, I tapped the tempo on the Axe Effects. I'm gonna use this guitar, the PRS, because I think it cuts through the mix a little bit for, for lead stuff. And um, let's just try this. We're in B minor. I'm just gonna think really slow, longer notes. And I'm gonna probably mess up, but we'll see. Told you I'd mess up. <laughs> I'm gonna redo this one. <laughs> but you, I, I have that idea. The concept is like something very, very different. Let's try that again. It's gonna be the right take. Longer notes, vibrato. a weird melodic thing, right? I'm starting to, to build that up. Trying to find where it ends. I don't know. <laughs> Always re-listen because I'd be tempted to redo this, um, but it, especially for the end. But that's kind of cool. The end there. I didn't mean to do that. I kind of like it. Uh, maybe not. I'm going to delete that end. I'm going to cut that. Okay. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, let's finish this song and then we'll send it to Ralph. All right, you know what I'm gonna do here? Okay, this section right here, that's kind of recurring in the song. I, I started, let me, let me check out this intro. That. Okay, you heard that part there? Well, this part comes in several times. It, it comes back, I think, right here. I'm gonna add it again right here. I think it would fit well there. Right here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna add it right here. Okay, so let's do that. Let's add this part. Da -da, da -da -da, ma -na -na. It goes something like this. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna double it too. Except that I'm hearing this. Yeah, I'm gonna da da. So we're gonna do da da. That's what it will do. Because there's a synth in there and the backing tracks always listen to what's going on in the back, so we'll try that. That's a very um, enjoyable part to play. Because there's a harmonic, it starts with a harmonic there. So let's try that. We're gonna double this. Okay. Okay, I think that works. We're gonna make sure that uh, we color code this. And then um, next, I think this song just ends with uh, kind of a build up like that. Some, some synth in there. Okay, another chorus. Okay, so I'm gonna double the chorus here. On the chorus, I did something like this. Uh, where is it? That. Give you a chance to listen to that one, so. We'll leave this for the synth. Starts pretty soon. Just try ads. Anyways, we're almost done here. I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. I just wanted to show you the process. It's more of painting a song and serving the song. And if you have any needs for something similar to that, whether it's finishing uh, a song or you want a co-writer or you just need a solo or whatever it is, don't hesitate to reach out. DavidWellman.com is uh, the new website where you can find out about that kind of service and the other things that I do. Thank you so much for watching this. Ralph, I hope you like this. Thank you for having me work on your song and uh, everyone, I'll see you next time. Practice well.